Hello everyone, tis I, Claire. A week ago, I asked you guys to ask me some questions, and you guys sure asked some questions, so I'm here to answer them. What's your favorite album at the moment? My favorite album at the moment has got to be Nonagon. Is that how you say it? Nonagon. Nonagon? Nonagon. Nonagon. Nonagon Infinity by King Gizzard and the Lizard Wizard. I adore that band so hard, but this album is probably my favorite album. I'll, I'll give you a little sample of this album. <laughs> What kind of baritone ukulele do you have? P.S. Love your videos. Thank you. So my baritone ukulele is the Kala K.A.B. Mahogany baritone ukulele. It is the best thing that I have ever purchased. If any of you guys are considering getting a baritone ukulele, I highly, highly suggest this Kala brand. It's a little pricey, but it's also not nearly the most expensive baritone ukulele there is. I've listened to a lot of more expensive ones and this model still sounds the best to me out of all of them. How's your day? My day is pretty average. Uh, typically I would be hanging out with a friend but today I kind of just I'm, I just kind of slept all day to be honest which is fine. I'm, I'm fine with that. That's cool. I'm not complaining. What was your inspiration for just someone with a sweater on? The phrase just someone with a sweater on uh, meant a lot to me, definitely, at the time of writing it. Um, it was a pretty... I, I was feeling very down at the time. I guess that phrase to me meant, like, all of this stuff happened. Like, my boyfriend dumped me, I spilled lemonade on the waiter, but in the end, it's just me, and that's all I have. It, everyone in my life will disappoint me, but at least I have myself and my sweater. What made you do YouTube? I liked watching YouTubers and I was like, hey, that looks like fun. And I guess I just kept going because like, people enjoyed it. I really enjoyed making videos and here we are. <laughs> How long have you had your ukulele? My first ukulele I got maybe a few years ago. I was very into 21 Pilots at the time, so that inspired me to get a ukulele. What's your worst fear? Hmm, spiders, I don't like those, don't like them. I don't care if they kill other bugs, I don't like them. Would you ever learn parkour? Sure. What sort of aesthetic do you aim for in your music and fashion? I like the idea of making bedroom pop music. I try to make music that falls under that genre. Fashion though, I don't even know what kind of fashion I have. I have, I literally have no idea what kind of aesthetic I am. I just like clothes. I just, I don't know, like what, what is this? I'm wearing like, what is this? What am I wearing right now? I think I'm wearing like a motorcycle shirt. Favorite Japanese food. I love tonkatsu. It's basically uh, pork uh, that is breaded and fried and it is the best thing in the world. How did you get started making music? Uh, it was a rough start, but I mean we're getting somewhere. I thought I was like a lot more sad than I actually was. I thought my life sucked a lot, but it really didn't. So I was just like, I'm uh, gonna write sad songs and I wrote sad songs and they sucked and I recorded them they're somewhere, but I don't I don't know. Maybe I'll release them one day. <laughs> Top three bands slash artists at the moment. Ooh, Tyler the Creator, Early Eyes, Declan McKenna. How are you doing? I'm doing pretty well. Thank you for asking. How are you doing? What is the inspo for your music? I get inspiration anywhere. I got the inspiration for Robot Girl after finishing an episode of Adventure Time, the one where um, Nectar was introduced, the little robot that throws pies. And sometimes I just get like random melodies in my head and I'm like, oh, I have to record this. So I like take my phone and like voice record the little melody. Will you ever release more songs of your own? I don't know. Maybe, maybe you have something coming out soon. 
I don't know, maybe next month? I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> Why are you so cute? I don't know. Why are you so cute? Mm. Biggest musical inspiration. My musical inspirations kind of vary from time to time. I have a few, but maybe my main one will have to be Dodi. Uh, whenever I'm in a creative rut, I always listen to her music. Favorite artist ever? Ever? Whoa. Alex Turner. Alex Turner is like an insane guy. <laughs> he's not insane, but like he's insane. He's, he's just like a lyrical genius. I just... When did you get started to play guitar? OMG, I love you. I love you too. I got started playing guitar about five years ago. How did you get the username Hot Prawn? By the way, I love you so much, Claire. Heart, 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 heart. I love you too. I get this question so much. One day, my friend Olivia and I, we were just sitting in her room. We were showing each other like, you know, the NPR Tiny Desk concerts. I showed her one of this band called Super Organism and they have a song called The Prawn Song. And she was just like, you're a hot prawn. And I was like, I'm gonna make that my username, so. It's not a, it's not an exciting story. I never said it was the best story ever, but. What first drew you into writing slash playing music? Huge fan, by the way, I love you. Uh, I love you too. <laughs> music has always just been a huge passion in my life. Where do you see yourself in one month, one year, five years, a decade? Ooh, I can't even see myself tomorrow. <laughs> In one year, I'm gonna be 18, and I'm gonna graduate high school, and uh, I'm gonna be moving to LA, and that's just a lot of things happening all at once. A decade is crazy to think about. I hope that I'm still me, you know? One thing about myself that I like <laughs> is that I am pretty grounded as a person. What's your favorite vine? This is my favorite question of all time. Thank you so much. Oh, I have so many. My favorite vine, I don't really know why, but it's the one where there are two guys and they're like dancing and then one of them is like, he gets all serious and he like points a gun at the other person and then the other guy's like sweating. I don't know what that vine is about, but I just like love that vine so hard. Here, I'll, I'll like try to put a clip of it right here. <laughs> Last question. Wow. Time flies by when you're having fun. What instrument would you like to learn next? I've always wanted to learn cello. I would like to thank all of your sweet little faces for sending me those fantastic questions and I will be doing another Q&A very soon. I also wanted to say thank you for the huge support on my cover of Wait a Minute with Sophia. I'm glad that you guys love Sophia. I love her very, very much. She has a beautiful voice and she is so sweet. We are planning to do another cover soon. It might be something from Stranger Things season three. I don't know. Also, thank you. I don't really like acknowledge this that much. I just feel like whenever I talk about this, it, it comes off as cocky, but I just, I don't want it to be because it's like super, super genuine and I'm like very, very shocked, but like, Thank you so much for 40,000 subscribers. That is an insane number to come out of my mouth. Oh my gosh. But thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. I love you all. And I'll see you guys in the next video.